proud of my team, the GB for Delta team. We've done extremely well. I wish all my candidates that were on the team with me would have been elected, but we did extremely good. And those people that weren't elected will still be part of our team as we move forward in the next four years to achieve for Delta. Awesome. Um, and what, what uh, there's a lot of talk about the bridge and the tunnel. Where do you see that going now that you're elected? Well, I can tell you that the first thing I'm going to do tomorrow morning is phone our MP, Carla Quattro, our MLA, Ian Payton, and our MLA from North Delta, Ravi Callan, and arrange a meeting so that we can all work together to get this problem solved. We need a bridge. We need a bridge quickly. And we need the provincial government to work with us and the federal government. So that's why we're all going to work together, all the elected people of Delta, working together to get a solution to this problem. And uh, there's a few issues on this side that are unique to uh, your area, but also to the city, like the violence that is in uh, cropping up in Surrey. What, what are your concerns about crime? Well, our platform was always to have a community issues and public safety committee. And we will still be doing that, of course. And we're working with a good, great police chief, Neil Dubor, to ensure the public's safe. We need to keep our kids away from gangs, and that's one of our top priorities that we'll be working on with our school board partners over the next four years. Um, and the other, I guess, is, is about the agricultural land. How do you see moving forward with that? Well, we've always been very protective of our agricultural land. That won't change. Um, Delta's history is farming. If anything, we'll be doing everything we can to ensure they have a proper budget to continue our freshwater irrigation system, which is so vital to them. We need to get fresh water over to Western Island, and that's a commitment we've made to do in the next four years. And I, I, I think the other issue is, is about safety and the ambulance service and safety of your community in general. Well, we've always been asking for more ambulances. And unfortunately, when one's off the grid here, as they're taking a patient into Vancouver area or into the New West area for the other major hospitals, we're down. So our firefighters have been up-trained to provide the necessary comfort and help to people while they're waiting for an ambulance. And we're going to continue fighting to ensure that our residents will have our firefighters arriving at the scene to ensure that it's all ready for when the ambulance does arrive. That's really important to our community. It seems like yesterday it was me and I was, we were over in that corner. We had to open up the room here. We had so many people in our announcement and I was scared. <laughs> I was quite nervous. You know, and we assembled such a great team, the Achieving for Delta team, and we believe that we can make a difference. And so do the people of Delta. I'm extremely happy, but at the same time, I'm quite sad because not all of our members were able to be successful. And I just want to tell the people that didn't make it in the election, that they're still part of the Achieving for Delta team. <laughs> and Carl, Sujay, and Cal, I'm expecting you to work hard, as we all will be, on committees, and we need your help to move us forward the next four years. <laughs> and so that concludes the 2018 municipal election in Delta. George Harvey takes the position of mayor with over 39% of the vote, Jim Sessford coming in a close second with Sylvia Bishop just behind. Achieving for Delta has achieved a majority government. Alicia Gishon got the most votes out of any council member. This has been Cameron Thompson for Post Media. Thank you very much for watching.